hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. Now I hope you appreciate the dedication. Well actually it's not really dedication, I was a bit addicted to playing Wolfenstein tonight. So I thought I would get you guys and everything you need to know about the game so far on the Nintendo Switch. So let's jump in. <laughs> first thing you need to know is that you're going to need to set up a Bethesda account as soon as you load up the game. So perhaps having that ready in advance will help you out a little bit there. The next thing, the entire experience is, as you probably know by now, a co-op one. But it's also drop in and drop out co-op and you can kick any player from your team at any time. The Switch version supports motion controls which is a nice thing to see and actually the implementation is perfect here. It's tweaked just so that it provides that little bit of extra precise aiming while not moving too far. It works really well and I didn't notice any drift whatsoever. Unfortunately it's not all good news. Visual performance right now is a touch hit and miss with some areas running at a fluid 30 frames per second while others seem to dip quite heavily. Particularly when you enter Paris Hull and you can then travel more freely, you'll notice any time a drone is in the air for example, the audio might begin to loop and the graphical fidelity takes a nosedive, but for the most part it looks okay, just nowhere near as good as any of the other systems. There are many similarities to games like The Division if you've played that on other consoles. Now you and your partner can begin in the hub area once you've done the initial few levels and from here you choose missions which you then undertake in any order you choose. While out on mission you'll also be sent optional objectives which can earn you more points. The next thing are the enemies themselves. Now they take on many different ranks so as you level up just as with a game like The Division they will also rank up and you'll end up facing enemies that are far tougher than the initial grunts. Between the two players you share three lives. When you're knocked down your partner can quickly revive you and it is really quick but if they don't get to you in time then you lose one of those shared lives. Lose all three and it's game over. The currency in the game is thankfully only in the game and there are these coins that you collect. As you collect them you can then use this to upgrade your weapons, your character, the skin that they wear every single aspect, the most in-depth of these being the weapon upgrades and the character upgrades. There are a massive amount of these to choose from. Now while the game isn't entirely an open world one, you are given free reign once you open up the Paris map. When you unlock the metro you can then choose exactly where you go next and as you can see the map is quite vast. One thing you really don't need to worry about though is the story, it is excellent and it intertwines all of this experience. So as you undertake a mission you might get a cutscene relating to finding your father and it's all done really well. So that's just a quick look at the game so far. I'm quite impressed with it, the performance isn't incredible if I'm honest and there's some heavy dynamic resolution scaling going on but the classic combat works well and the addition of those motion controls for me actually adds quite a bit to the game. I'm having an absolute blast with it and my full review will be with you in the next day or so. As always, for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers guys, see ya! Now I need to go to bed, it's 5 in the morning. <sighs>